chairman of the independent national electoral commission yes okay former yeah i said somebody said the chairman yeah the former chairman of the independent national electoral commission INEC, issued a stay stark warning about nigeria's future at a recent convocation lecture he declared that the country is in a failing state and urged leaders and citizens to take action to prevent the worst from happening. Jega on Saturday, while addressing the audience in a lecture he delivered during the convocation ceremony of the Bauchi State University, uh, stressed the need for restructuring the Nigeria Federation. He urged for a argued he argued for a rational, evidence-based process of devolution. That's also English. They go they talk and talk and talk and talk and they no go do anything. Granting more power and resources to states and local governments. This, he believes, would reduce the over-concentration of power. The Tinubu way they cry in those days. Restructure, oh, oh let's uh, Nigeria go their separate way, oh, let uh, this and that too. No, they go do like say they know here what they happen. Meanwhile, this, he believes, would reduce the over-concentration of power. Our leaders in leadership positions between now and 2027, we need to put our heads together and le- and have a rational, evidence-based process of restructuring the Nigeria Federation. And to my mind, the major thing we need to do is divert power and resources from the federal to the state and local government. Jega said at the event themed Safeguarding Nigeria Future, they go most b- bring one topic. Now, so, so this thing with the, with the years since how many decades, all to know, all to what, all to no avail. Prioritizing citizens' welfare and security are missed challenges. Even if all we do is to go back to the way power was distributed in the 1963 constitution, we should do that. But I think we should even go beyond that because we need to reduce the power of the federal government. In fact, that power of the federal government in which whoever is elected president controls virtually all the resources beheads the reality. There is fear that if more resources go to the states and local governments. Given what we see in Nigeria now, Nigeria of today, many people are afraid of afraid that it cannot solve the problems. But my own thinking is that the more power and resources in the states and local government, the less active attractive the federal becomes. Then the more people will concentrate in terms of bringing appropriate reforms and developments. It is very important we truly address these issues. Jaga also criticized the high cost of governance in Nigeria. Now today, accusing the executive arm at both federal and state level levels of recklessness spending, he called for constitutional amendments to tackle this issue and emphasized the need for cultural change to address the profligacy, profligacy within the political system. This is uh, Jaga to give him power now. All these things that he's saying, give him power now. Let him have a uh, let him be at the head of a or the head of the affair or the hems of this country. Then you begin to speak another thing. He will he will he will, he will turn deaf, dumb and deaf. When people will be talking, you know, even listen to what he did. Yeah. In addition to that, they have raised the cost of governance in such a way that it is a serious challenge that can put Nigeria in jeopardy. Why acknowledging concerns about resource mismanagement at the state? And local levels. Jega believes that the increased autonomy would ultimately lead to better governance and government. He argued that a less attractive federal government would incentivize, incentivize states to focus on internal reforms and development. Jega emphasized the need for constitutional amendments, particularly on policy decisions to cut the cost of governance. He said, I am saying this because it appears there is now a movement of some elites pushing for the return of the parliamentary system. I think it is a terrible thing to happen. You started with parliamentary system, you moved to presidential, you are not doing it well. And you think the solution is to go back to parliamentary system. The problem is we have a presidential system and it is a congulated presidential system. One that is not taking the best practices of other presidential systems in the world and it is important we pay attention to this i don't blame nigeria 
I don't believe Nigeria is a failed state, but we must realize that Nigeria is a failing state. And it's, if we put it in jeopardy and don't safeguard it, then the worst can happen. Jega further emphasized the need to diversify the Nigeria economy beyond its independence on oil. Called for increased agricultural productivity, a focus on agro-allied industries, and the creation of opportunities for the nation's large youth population. Mm. Yes, so you are the foundation of this problem. You are complaining now because Tinubu has not said to you, if it was not done ruling, you will say, will you say this rubbish? Buari failure gave birth to Tinubu, the worst failure. Yeah. Jega charted the root of what is happening in Nigeria today in 2015. Nobody should tackle or take him serious. Oh God, you lack the morality to complain because you played a religious and regional policies that brought Nigeria where it is today. All of you are the same people. Maybe your own resources suckling uh, probiscus has been removed from Nigeria economic and stream. <laughs> I know a lot of people will go for Jega. Hey, judging from what happened in 2015, I think we need to look at a lot of things thoroughly. Uh, we have to be deep thinkers and, you know, to look at things very, very well. Oh, my goodness. Nigeria, which will, just like I said, if you give him to this way he's talking, if he has the opportunity to become the president, you're going to be hearing this different thing. Like I said, Tinumbu too. This is what he did. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.